I congratulate you. You've made it to day six. And that's a beautiful thing. It's taken a lot of courage to do this work. And I really appreciate the effort and the energy you've put into this. It will pay off for you. I, I know it. This is how we change our mind. This is how we heal our heart. This is how we really shift our life and our way of being. And it's not easy. It is not easy to do. It takes great willingness. And I'm so glad that we're doing it together. So today on day six, we're going to make a shift. And the last five days, one of the things we've been looking at is the past and the choices that we've made in the past and why we make the choices that we do and the patterns of pain and what drives us to get on the pain train and all the different components of self-sabotage. You can see that the work that we have done, the little bit of effort that we've put in and, and in some ways a, a great effort to really look at it deeply is already paying off. You're already shifting your mind, shifting your consciousness. And uh, for those of you who are coming along in Masterful Living this year, you will be amazed at the difference you can make in your life in just one year. So the awareness that you have gleaned from this challenge and the work that you'll do today, you will bring into this year and just know that so much healing is going to happen. Right now you might be thinking, well, how is that ever going to happen? Because now you have more awareness of how entrenched you are in these habits and it might feel overwhelming to you. However, what I know is that through the course of working on it week after week throughout the entire year, huge results happen. Each person's results are different. So yours will be different from somebody else's, but your healing, your transformation, your experience of shifting and living a life that you enjoy so much more and feeling so much better about yourself, your experience will be absolutely perfect for you. It will be magnificent for you. And I'm so happy to support you this year in doing that. So today what we're doing in the challenge is we're beginning to focus on where we'd like to go and how we'd like to feel, what we'd like to experience in our life. What I found working with so many spiritual students now for a couple of decades is that many spiritual students are afraid to really hold a vision for themselves in their life. And the reason is, is that they have been in a place in the past of setting intentions and setting goals and doing uh, work that didn't pan out because they didn't stick with it. They just let it be something that was a wishing and a hoping, but without the constructive spiritual practice to back it up and to bring forth deep and profound healing. We can do this work together. And in fact, we are and we will. So just being willing to look deeply into what would you like, not what you need, not what you want, not the craving to fill some hole inside your heart, but really what is it you would like to experience? How would you like your life to be? Giving yourself permission to look at that is so valuable. Because here's the thing, Course in Miracles really tells us that we don't have to learn through pain and suffering anymore. We can instead become the happy learner and learn through joy. And that is what Masterful Living is about. That's what your year with us is all about here, is learning to live a life that is joyful, that we can learn through joy instead of through pain and suffering. In learning through joy, we must have the willingness to really look at what is it that we would like our life to be like. Because our mind is the mind of God and what we hold in it, what we put our attention on, as you well know, is what we're going to bring into manifestation and form. Now, what a lot of spiritual students will do is they'll focus on things that they'd like to manifest 
thinking that the things they'd like to manifest will make them happy or will bring them joy. But that's not where joy comes from. Truly, the greatest joy there is, is to be in service, to live a life of service, serving the light. And we can do that no matter what our profession is, no matter what our life is like on the surface. Every choice that we make can be truly helpful because it can be truly healing, it can be truly loving. Now, so here's the choice that we have, to learn through pain and be pushed by the pain, or to hold a vision for our life and to be pulled by that vision. The higher Holy Spirit self will lead us and guide us to the highest and best in our life if we're willing to energize it with our thoughts and with our attention. So this is one of the focuses that we have in our curriculum in the year of Masterful Living, is really looking deeply into what it is we'd like. Many spiritual students are far more focused on what they don't want than what they would like in all areas of their life. And it is eye-opening, once we really get into this work this year, it's gonna be so eye-opening how focused you may have been in the past and what you didn't want, rather than what you really would like. So instead of wanting, craving, and needing things, let's just relax into what would we like? What would we like to experience? How would we like to feel? What would we like to feel about our life, about our body, about our finances, about our relationships, about our creativity and our career? How would we like to feel? So put some real energy into today's worksheet and then come and share at the homework session because you articulating it in the homework session, you bringing your heart, your inspiration to the homework session and articulating it, sharing it with others, is gonna really help you energize it. If this is what you'd really like, if you'd really like to make these shifts and changes this year, come to the homework session and talk about it. Now, one more thing I'd like to share with you is we're going to be running the whole uh, challenge again. Six more days doing it all over again. For those who jumped in late, those who missed it, had things going on, I, this is my guidance for us to do it again, and you can do it again too. You'll be surprised at how much more you'll get out of it if you actually do it from scratch all over again. And definitely come to the homework sessions. Then for those of you who are in Masterful Living, uh, the next steps are the group goal setting session and the one-on-one -on -one activation session. And then so much more. Uh, these different pieces are going to really support you. The other thing is, those of you in Masterful Living and those of you who signed up for New Year's Reboot, everybody in Masterful Living has the New Year's Reboot class. Once the challenge is done, then we're going to be revisiting the New Year's Reboot work. So you can take that worksheet and bring it to those homework sessions and we're gonna dive deep into this. And you'll see how this month, you are truly laying a foundation for your year, getting very clear about what you don't like and what you do like, and what you would like to manifest in your life, and being very clear about it so you can hold a vision and be pulled by the vision this year. This is a spectacular way for us to live a life of joy. It is our destiny. We are fulfilling it. Spirit is doing all the heavy lifting. We are going to give all our thoughts of separation, lack and limitation, attack thoughts, all of it to the Holy Spirit for healing. We've got so much more planned. One of the next big steps for us is to take all these things that we learned in the challenge and the things that we learned from the New Year's Reboot, and we're gonna do some real deep self-forgiveness work so that we can move out of the shame and the blame and the regret and the resentment and the guilt 
and set ourselves free. This is a powerful year. We're giving ourselves an extraordinary gift of healing and clearing. And I am so grateful to share it with you. God bless you. And thank you for having the courage to join me in this challenge. I can't wait to hear about your testimonials, your breakthroughs. Please share in the Facebook groups. God bless you.